Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Patrick Reed's golf swing. We'll look at some wedge shots and drivers and irons, and we'll compare sort of the footwork and the plane, all the good parts to the swing to see what makes him such a great player. If it's your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look here. So over on the left, we have a, dr a driver swing, and I've done a little side-by-side -side here just to show uh, the difference in the footwork. So as he starts to really create power, he uses his legs and lower body much more than he would ever use it in the irons or the, or the wedges. So classical backswing. And he's more of an old school player where it does certainly get more open at the, at the top of the swing, more toe down up here, long sort of loose swing, super obviously, you know, super flexible player, maybe even more than most guys on tour. And then as he gets those legs really going, you can see the, the knees working well, gets into the leg action. And then that left leg clearing back as he comes through. So his legs and hips and core really providing the power here. And that shallows that club out beautifully. Now notice that the club face is incredibly open at this point, as we can see here. And he'll then have to roll that over at the bottom like crazy to square it off. But if we look at the leg work, that's really very interesting as he tries to pound it and create all that massive club head speed. He gets that left leg clearing so much it actually pulls back and he steps around behind sort of the right foot there to really clear and get through it. Completely finishes in the left heel. And for any of you that have lessons with me and you're trying to clear those hips out, we work on getting this knee working back and we work on getting to the left heel so that foot is sort of off the ground there a little bit at the finish. Com sort of contrast that with a wedge shot over on the right here where he's turning it up here and then coming down. Watch the footwork here, totally passive. Very calm coming down and the left foot just on the ground beautifully. And you can see it's very much of an upper body rotational type of swing. He's not driving the legs hard whatsoever. He is turning and with that shirt he's wearing here, sort of the way it's colored with the dark and the light sections, we can really see the upper body really rotating on the way through. And that gives him the control he wants with a short shot. So even though the legs are wild over here on the left, it's wild in the correct way, moving back with the left, shallowing that thing out. And like I said, all he has to really work on is trying to control that rollover at the bottom, which is really excessive. You can see the hand coming off the club there, a lot of release. And I'm sure there's some weeks maybe he doesn't quite control that rollover, but he loves to play a draw and draw players can make that work much more than anybody trying to hit it straight. In the world of golf, I would just call him a very natural player, almost like a John Daly in a way where he's just powerful and strong and flexible and the game of golf probably coming quite easy to him. I'm guessing just with great rhythm, great balance, great tempo. So he winds that thing up there. You can see how much he's turning the upper body, lower body turning about half as much as the upper. Perfect pivot motion, his body angle is correct there. Like I said, a little longer and looser than some players face more open. But as he gets the lower body really going, left knee working around, right knee working. That allows the hips to clear. And look at the lag he has there. That starts to store a tremendous amount of energy for club head speed at the bottom. There he comes into impact. Same great spine angle. Hands just in front, and then a full rip release. Right there, you can see how much the hands and arms have crossed over to let that thing go. But with all that crossover from the open face coming down, some weeks he's on, some weeks he won't be as good. With an iron shot here, par three type shot. Six or seven iron. This club working right up the plane, hinging beautifully, more toe up than a lot of guys these days. You see on the other videos, club very upright at this point. And then as he brings it down, we know he's really working the legs and the hips hard here coming through. Club shallows beautifully. Club face much more open, like we said, than a lot of guys, requiring a lot of rollover at the bottom. Because he's so smooth and he is trying to hit a ball curving this way, it's pretty easy to control. 
he's either going to roll it over the right amount and hit his draw, roll it not quite as much, and just hit a shot that probably ends up going straight. If he overrolls his hands, he might get a slight overdraw, but not that much. Much more likely in his world just to get a shot that ends up going a little straighter than he wants and doesn't curve right to left. He hits almost all draws, although if you watch the telecast this weekend, he had some beautiful fades with the driver when he wanted to. One last look here at an iron shot. A couple things to note. Like we said, the toe down position at the top here, more open club face than a lot of guys on tour. And like we said, when he's not going for ultra power, he doesn't move the left leg as much back behind him. Sometimes you will see this foot move back with a three wood or a five, you know, longer iron but for most of these clubs, he's staying more still and not totally moving the foot back when he is hit an, hitting an iron shot. Quite amazing, though. Just amazing natural talent, fluidity, balance. And even though it looks more arms because of the rotation at the bottom with the forearm on the club, because his core and his hips and his legs are working so hard on the downswing, his arms are getting more of that free ride, which will allow him on a good week to be amazingly accurate with his irons. If you happen to struggle with your short irons, but you're okay with longer clubs, chances are you are getting too much lower body action. And there's just too much happening, especially in the, down here. Knees, feet, hips are too wild with the shorter clubs. You can see here with this wedge, Simple backswing, but as he comes down, even though the legs are working, they're working less wildly than with the longer clubs. So he stays much more down or grounded coming into the ball, which allows him to control the club face better and control things like tempo and rhythm. One last clip to look at here, this hybrid. You can see as he gets it up to the top, much more of a toe down position, more open. And if you're one of those players that has an old school type swing, weaker grip, toe down at the top. As it comes down, as long as it's shallowing out okay, if you do practice hitting shots that curve right to left, it's a much easier game to play. If you try to play fades with an open face, they become weak and short. But draws will have plenty of power. Much easier to control the draw, though, with the face coming down open because you're always planning on releasing it and getting that ball starting right and curving left. And with Patrick Reed, you see that's really the shot he prefers to play, plays most of the time, creating that type of a shot. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video, Patrick Reed. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.